Hi, this is Roy from Tesla Owners US and today we have a very nice exhibition of a car which is a competitor of the Model Y and I think the Model X as well. And we have here with us the owner. What's your first name? Curtis. Curtis. Curtis is here as the owner. We are at the nice place as well at the Botanical Garden. And then if you see the car, it is called Infinitive Blue. That is the Mach. E from uh, Ford Mustang Mach E and we show you all of the details just after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight what we're looking for in life yeah and there's a rear camera and a rear light and uh, signal. Curtis has had a long wait on that car. Is that correct? Yeah. So he ordered that in November 2019. Correct. Yes. And that that car, and he had to be patient. And you understand, you have to be patient in time of a pandemic, because the car is produced actually in Mexico, uh, right? Yep. Uh, some probably parts from US and from other locations. But the important thing is that the tariffs for from Mexico to Europe, because that's also been sold in Europe, the car, is much easier to handle and the tariffs between NAFTA and US also, so that this car makes sense to produce it there. And when you see that car, it's a Mustang. So Mustang, you would really think that's a muscle car, right? But it's a muscle car and it could come out also with a muscle version of that. So this car is, as you said, rear wheel drive. Yep. It's a rear wheel drive, so it looks, I think, beautiful. From the color, it's infinite blue. From the applications for that, I think when I'm looking all around the car and looking at the gaps with the car, it looks very well done. Here's the entrance of the, uh, uh, this comes with CCS, right? It's on the other side. It's the other side here? Yeah. Oh, just let's open that. Yeah, that's CCS. That's a regular J7072 high power or DC. You can close that. This is a regular CCS charging. You are, can use Electrify America, right? As a, in a charging network, is that correct? Yeah, and what's funny about this is it says horsepower right here. So Ford put their little jokes in. <laughs> horsepower. <laughs> this is where the horsepower comes from. Yeah, so whereby it basically can also be in kilowatt. So you can reconvert it. It's, I think 1.36 is a conversion rate from yeah. kilowatt to horsepower. And oh, 1.35. And I think they use their best brand name for Mustang in order to show a very nice car. And, uh, and we are glad that uh, Curtis showed us the car. If you look at the interior, so nice, well done. It is Bang & Olufsen speakers. It has well stitching. It has a carbon decor. It has a 15-inch screen portrait. It has a driving screen in front as well and has really all the features what you want from a car. And uh, I looked at all of the interior, how it was well done. Look at the seating, perforated seating, but there's no air conditioning coming yeah, through, right? Heated. Yes, that heated seating. And is the steering wheel heated as well? Or yep. could, could be a steering wheel is heated. And you know, looks very well done, quality-wise, really. And when you look from the outside, how to come in, you press here a button, it says uh, actuator, electronic, and the car goes open. And then there's a little tiny handle. This is actually in order to, oops, so sorry, automatic closing as well, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
yeah and there is a regular back door same way you're pressing here the door opens and I noticed yeah is that for kids kids tend to put their hands here anyway yes so what they did is they put it a stopper here so you can't shut your your hands oh in the door so that when kids put their hands in and pull it open yes then they can shut it well thought can we look at the trunk as well sure yes so must mustang sign at the yeah, trunk exactly. trunk it's open so you can and down. it's kick open right oh that's oh, not available so <laughs> and then that is the uh cover. the cover for the trunk Oh, this. Uh, do they deliver uh, uh, an emergency charger with it as well? A kind of a uh, 120 it volt? It comes with a 240 volt oh, and even 120 standard. 240 and 120 yeah. and that charger does both? Or is, is, yes, it uh, yeah. has little little adapters on it. It's in the Yeah, in it's the here bag. in that package. Mm -hmm. So that is the lower trunk compartment for that one. This is for uh, air pressure for a tire mm -hmm. and to in case you need to repair one. And uh, this is foldable to the front, right? Yeah. And it's uh, uneven, is that correct? So basically, if you fold it so up to can, the front. You can lower it down. Yes. To where it will fold flat with the. Oh, the very, very nice done. So it's got two levels. Yeah, very nice done. 12 volt charge point. And you must have received it recently because there is no license plate yet, <laughs> right? But you get also 24 by 7 blue license plate for that car. Mm -hmm. Uh, a driving HOV lane as a single person here in Phoenix, yeah. right? So, and how to close it the same way, or you can, or or you press the button there. Oh. Really, and that looks Mustang style. Also, those uh, backlights here. You know, I I'm really the wheels are they standard? They are forged yeah. forged yep. aluminium wheels, right? Yeah. 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 Brakes how? Yeah. Way that the turn signal is kind of a sequential. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. a typical Mustang style. So you drove it for a couple of days. How happy are you with it? Very the happy with it. Yeah. Very quick and peppy and a smooth yeah. ride, very quiet. Yeah. And how is the regenerative braking? So you put the foot on a pedal and release so I, it? I use a one pedal driving most of the time. Yeah. But um, the, it does have the blended brake. So when you hit the brakes pedal, it will regen until it can't anymore and then I'll use the friction brakes. Yes, so you can't okay. Even tell the difference. And it is even recommended from time to time to press the brake pedal in order to have a little use on the brake, right. not to get it rusty, right? So, because for my Roadster I had to put special uh, brake discs in in order to avoid a rusting on the brake discs. Yeah, and the application here, it's all in glossy. It really looks nice. So and this is a big competitor. So when I, may I ask you a question first, what most of the Americans want to know, what was the price for the car? So I think I got it for, it's around mid fifties. In the mid fifties? Yeah, and this car also qualifies for the $7,500 tax rebate. Yes, that's an advantage. So that makes it, that makes it cheaper as the uh, all wheel drive model uh, Y, right? And so what also you said also there are other versions available later on is that correct yeah there's going to be a gt coming out later this year and then it'll, a gt performance edition wow and uh, you said the gt performance uh, edition that that does an acceleration of 3.9 3 3.5 yeah. so yeah that comes away uh, well again uh, close to the performance of the model y mm -hmm. right It'll probably be uh 2022 model yes yes so hey do you do you have any frunk yep. there that's my question so let's see if it has some frunk so that's typical style i don't know if this one what an influence it has on the drag coefficient because that's a little bit indented here but uh oh complaints yeah, yeah. It's, it's still on yeah, there is a little frunk in that. And you know what I also like there is, is you see that there, it, there are predefined compartments for that. So that you can have your, this is probably tools, right? Or so, first tools, aid kit, yeah. first aid kit and tools and so on. So there is still room in comparison to the ID4, has no room here in the front at all. 
right? So, but here you at least got some room in the front and you can use it. And it has a drain in the bottom too. So you can wash it out with a hose. Oh. Um, you can use it as an ice chest and just put ice in it and it will drain out. So the tailgate party becomes a front gate party. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the right here. Right. Yep. So, yep. yes. Yeah. Cool. So, you know what? Uh, I think Tesla need to watch out because there are companies coming up and they are competing. Yeah. My question is, why did you decide for a Ford? Are you a Ford fan or? I've had Fords in the past. Yes. Um, and I like the interior of the car because there's more practical buttons compared to a Tesla. Yes, yes. Um, you know, the screen behind the steering wheel, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what pushed me more into that direction. And you are a Ford fan, basically. You had Fords before, you know, they are reliable, mm -hmm. right? They are driving a long time and so on. Yeah. I, I think that's what Tesla is always afraid of, that there are competitors now coming up and they are bringing cars and they are from the quality standards at least the equal or better, right? So if I'm looking at the interior and all of the quality what came out here, right, with the gaps in the panels and so on, you know, look at this. That looks good. You know, that looks really good. So and there is nothing what you can complain on that so how was the delivery experience of that car it's good it's you know they called me when i showed up at the dealer and i went down and yeah signed the paperwork i had most of the finances taken care of you know over email yeah ahead of time anyway so and then did, did they explain to you the car a little bit were there people uh, knowledgeable about the car i or? knew more about the car than the dealer because i've been on the monkey <laughs> forums for After, months, yeah. you know so yeah yeah then I, I think so as well, because usually customers now who are in, interested in electric cars, they know more right. about their electric cars at the people at the service centers. And this one is nice. The, the, the door, door opening grip is here on the side, right? Basically here. And is that prevention. And look at the stitching in the back there. Is that a special edition stitching? No, or? They, they have, uh, they'll use different colors in some of the special editions. Yeah. The premium comes with the, the white standard. Yeah. So, but this is almost standard edition in really in still good quality. Yeah, right? the, the interior isn't really much different on any of the other cars other than the colors. Yeah, um, yeah. So is that... Uh, Vegan leather or real leather? Vegan. Vegan leather, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. Whole, whole entire vegan interior. Yes. You know what? Uh, the people like that, right? So, really. It feels good. It feels a little softy as well. Yeah. Really. Excellent, guys. So, yeah. And it seats five. There's a smaller seat in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you can flip that over as well, right? Yep. Are there USB connections in the back as well? Yeah, there's yes. USB-C and USB-A in the back and a USB-C and a USB-A in the front. Yes, yeah. It also has wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Wireless charger. Yeah. Uh, it has everything what you need in order to have a family with uh, equipped with uh, iPhones, Androids and so on, right? And Bang Bang and Olufsen, uh, speaker system, yeah? Yeah, quality speaker system. Why not? Right? So, uh, one question more for that, uh, for the shark fin here on the top. Is that an antenna or, uh, yeah? Yeah, an antenna and I think the, the satellite radio and GPS receiver and all that. Yeah. In there. And is it uh, upgradable over the air later or? Every, every module in the car is over there, updatable. They're gonna, yes. they released a minor one last month that um, had a few bug fixes and then they're going to do a bigger one in May. Yeah, so... I haven't really announced the features yet. Same principle. Is there... A, does it come with cruise control or something or...? Uh, adaptive cruise control. So yeah. it will do the stop and go, it will do lane centering. Later this year they're going to offer an update for hands-free driving. Wow. So that'll be a uh, uh, $500 extra charge, I think. Yeah. And. Um, and then they do it similar to GM Super Cruise, where they use mapped highways, so it doesn't do it everywhere, but yeah. all, the, all the roads in the valley, the freeways, you know, you can yeah. do, get out the key. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and you know, I'm uh, 
I'm a really, you probably also, I'm excited about that car. Yeah, so lots if of you people are. People on the freeways are like looking at it, slowing down. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you know, that's what it is. So we are in electric age. It is about time to change, right? And the maintenance is lesser than that. Mm -hmm. Did they give you any maintenance schedule or do you say, hey, come whatever, whenever you want or? Yeah, they, I think they say once a year, just to inspect. Just a little check. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Fill the washer fluid up, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. nothing to complain about, you know. That is nice and perfect car. So the color, I, I like the color, I like the applications in the black there. And you tinted the windows, right? Yeah, I so the, windows. so the, the back was already kind of tinted, but yeah. Sure. One of the other things they did was that they they did this black roof where it looks like the fastback design yeah. of the of the normal Mustang, but your your head you actually can go all the way up to here. So you still get the headroom, but you still have that slick slick uh, fastback look to fastback look to the roof. Yeah. yeah. Kind of optical yeah, you know, and you know what? I'm I'm amazed that they took their muscle car brand name and made it electric. So that means I want to go all the way in electric, and I want to take my best brand and make that electric, and try to convince people to right. change. They're right? The F one fifty electric too, and that's their the best selling car in the world. As far yes, as I understand it. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Times are changing now, and hey, I uh, think we are going to show you some drive scenes a little bit here, maybe, and how the car comes and goes, and so on. Uh, yes. Oh, that's the sound coming in, and you're driving under eight miles or so. Yeah. And there's a rear camera and a rear light and the signal. Very nice. Good? Great. Yeah, you are grandfathered in because of the sound, right? But the uh, new vehicles need to have that sound. But for the Model Y, there's already a third-party company. You can turn that off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So let me hear that sound again. Let me hear the, yeah. The, uh, yeah. No, the forward sound. Drive a little forward and then backward, and then we see we hear that sound. We had some driving within the car. All conveniences, what you expect from a car, really. Nice driving. Very quiet. It's yes. quieter than my car. Yeah, super quiet. Because I'm sitting on top of the motor, more or less. Yeah, right the, out, right the, my the, the windows are laminated. I think helps a little bit with that. Oh yes, they are. Uh, it's a sound uh, protection a little bit for the windows. Yes. You know that makes a big change. So that if people yeah. start driving electric, they know Different they're not gonna, not gonna go back ever. Different driving modes. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff here in there. Camera, parking, access, driver assistance, valet mode. Oh, you can turn valet mode on as well. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, they cannot access certain things, they cannot drive too Correct. fast and so and on, right? You, uh, and if you're using your phone as the key, then basically it gives them, you don't have to give them the phone, it gives them a pin code in, in order to start the car and wow. open the doors. And if you have, um, 
you know, if your phone battery dies or whatever, there's a pin code you can put on the eight pillar that will get you into the car and then a password on the screen that will let you um, let you drive it, but, it yeah. but that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's carbon style. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before I get arrested. <laughs> I don't know, where are we? I have no <laughs> idea. I didn't know. I don't think that's uh, I think that's the maintenance entrance. The maintenance yeah. entrance, yeah. <laughs> but you know, get some more driving, that's good. Yeah, there's there's lots and lots of settings in here. Change yeah. all the Oh there's more roll so it scrolls up. Yeah, there's Wow. Changes, you can change all the settings, charge proof, uh, you know, charge time, departure time. You turn right? Yeah, good. Uh, it's yeah. got a physical knob for the volume, which is really nice, bonded to the screen. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to fuzzle around there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Yeah, I'm amazed. So how how much you are charging it up to eighty percent? That's do what they, I do. Yeah, yeah they, they recommend ninety. I would I would do eighty. Um, was it I, here? Yeah, I'm doing. I don't remember, but I've been doing eighty um, just because you know it's hot here. Oh, it's one more row over, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. we we'll drive a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much yeah. for the presentation of that car. Yeah, and. Tesla. Controversial car because you know a lot of people don't like the name Mustang on it, but I like it. But you know that was a big commitment to 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 uh, give up on that muscle car name and make it electric, right? Yeah. So they said we throw everything in, uh, all in our brand name. Yeah, they're not full right. Around. So there's yeah, the there's my roadster. Okay, and that's John's car. Oops. Oops. Curb check. Yep. Dry smooth. Uh, I think that's all for us. And uh, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. And we talk to you next time for another great EV.